Hey everyone, so this is my second um, video blog. Uh, I don't even know where to start. So the last few days have been filled with doctor's appointments. Um, today is Monday, Thursday, whole day, Friday, most of the day. I was out and then today I had more appointments and then just when I thought it was over I got a phone call that I need to schedule another appointment tomorrow before I start chemo. So I'll, I'll go over everything a little bit. Um, on Thursday I had my fertility doctor first and that was a mess. Um, I basically I basically can't have children um, because the chemo and the radiation is going to kill off all my eggs. The, um, the gynecologist or whatever she was, um, fertility doctor, she gave me two options. Um, one being freezing my eggs and the second one being freezing an embryo. So I would need to choose a sperm donor right then and there. Uh, and then she was giving me this packet about cost. And if my insurance were to cover half of it, it would be around $3,000 out of pocket, which I don't have. But turns out my insurance doesn't cover any of it. So luckily I kind of passed on it anyway because she explained to me that what they would need to do is make mature my eggs, which would take about 7 to 10 days, meaning the earliest she could have, you know, meaning... The earliest she can take out my eggs would be Friday, this upcoming Friday, um, and the medication she would give me to make the eggs mature would make me really sick, which I thought was a big flag of no, because for chemo, I kind of want to get my immune system really strong, so I even changed my diet to cutting a lot of sugar, but that I'll explain that later. Um, so she basically said I would also have surgery on Friday and it takes one to two days to recover. So this would delay my chemo. I don't want to delay my chemo. I won't rather focus on getting better and I'll adopt kids if I have to. Um, she said I'd still have a working uterus so if I wanted to have, you know, Ashley's children or something, I could take her egg and grow the baby inside of me, but that's, I'm not ready to talk about kids, so what they're going to do is basically put me on birth control throughout my chemo and stop my period, so sorry about all the, to all the guys out there, don't want to know, that's what's going to happen, um, and then after that, I had, what did I have, another CT scan? And I had a bone scan scheduled that day and an echo test scheduled that day. But what happened was I went, so for the CT scan, I can't eat. They wanted me to fast and not drink anything. And, but for the bone scan, I needed to eat. So bone scan was scheduled first and then the CT scan. Um, so I had a, so the bone scan, they asked me to go do the CT scan first, so I had to wait there for another hour to get in because my appointment time was like three hours later on, and meaning I had to wait throughout my echo test and had to get that rescheduled for Friday. So I went to those, and then on Friday I had um, a cathaport Cathaport? Yeah, that's what it's called. Um, put in my chest. So that was minor surgery, which I didn't even know it was minor surgery. Uh, it was the first thing Friday morning, which was also scheduled at the same time as my PET scan that later on was rescheduled to today, Monday. Um, so I had that put in, and this is kind of what it looks like. It's really gross. I that's kind of when it sunk in after the surgery that everything is happening. Um, it's, so it's basically a tube. Uh, so right there, it's in the middle. They're going to use this for my chemo and anything else I need to 
be injected by so they don't use my arms to ruin my veins anymore. They're going to use that. Um, it hurt. Friday I couldn't move. <laughs> uh, I could even lift my head. Thank God for Ashley. She's been helping so much. Like I couldn't have done it without her. Um, so I had that on Friday and I was knocked out from the medicine basically the rest of the day and today I had I met up with my social worker and I went to work as well today and we kind of discussed my insurance and what was going to happen with me taking time off and that whole thing. We're just going to take it day by day and see how I would go with chemo because uh, if I can't work then that sucks. <laughs> uh, basically it sucks. My social worker um, will help me file for disability if, that, if that's the case. I don't want it to be the case but because I want to keep the insurance I have. Um, yeah, uh, even that cost is kind of like it was a lot and it was a lot really overwhelming uh, getting all that information in but I have so many awesome co-workers and friends and everybody's just been so helpful. So, and then I went to my PET scan today. Um, so my PET scan is the one thing I'm kind of most worried about because it's, it's going to tell where and what other parts of my body it has spread, if any. Hopefully not. Um, I asked for my bone test uh, results right away, so I got those, and thank God it's not in my bones, so it's all in the soft tissue. And soft tissue is most of your organs, so we'll find that out soon. Um, and then I just got a call like 15 minutes ago that I need to schedule uh, MRI tomorrow. Um, my surgeon and the radiologist want me to get one before I start chemo. And I start chemo on Wednesday, which is two days from today. <sighs> Am I ready? I don't know. I don't know if I'm ready, but... I have to be. Um, everybody's really supportive. Thank you so much for everybody's messages and comments and opinions. I, you know, I love to hear it all. If I don't get back to you, it's because, I don't know, I'm either sleeping or everybody's bombarding me with text messages. On Friday after I had my, after I was knocked out from the drugs, I had 11 messages in less than three hours. That was a lot. Thank God I put my phone on silent. Um, I changed my diet. I'm trying to eat no meat um, besides like fish, like wild salmon. I read is really good and I cut out all sugar besides natural sugar so the sugars and fruit and um, anything that's naturally there because I've been doing research on online on my own um, on how to I don't want to make the spread so I'm gonna do whatever it takes now to make it go away and get better so that's a big one um, I don't know. Uh, after this, I'll probably post another video after my chemo to let you guys know how that went and what that was like and how everything's going. Feel free to message me and ask your questions. And everybody asks a lot of questions, but questions are okay because with you guys, that's kind of the way I think of questions to ask the doctor. Um, yeah, but thanks for supporting me and you guys are awesome. I'll get better. Things will be okay. <laughs> it's going to be one day at a time. All right. Bye.